Hello everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. Uh, in the last video we covered the try except else statement where the else statement only runs if the exception is not triggered. But what if we always want to run some code in the try and accept statement, but we want that code to be somewhat contingent on the outcome of the try and accept statement? For this, we use try except finally. So here's a quick example of a try except finally. So we'll say try x equals x plus 3. So that's going to obviously fail and trigger an exception. Except x equals 4, oops, 4 plus 4. And then finally, print. Um, do something else with x which equals, and then we'll just you know spit out the value of x. So try except finally. So now let's go ahead and save that and run that, and we get uh, do something else with x which equals eight. Now obviously if we changed this to three, and we rerun this, it's going to say do something else with x which equals six. So finally is always going to run. And at least in this case, it's going to use 6 for the value of x. But obviously, if the uh, exception was called, it would say it would be using 8, of course. But that's not all. For three easy payments of $29.95, you can do try, accept, else, finally. So uh, to do that, let's uh, do a quick example. You're going to stuff the else statement right here. And we're going to say else x plus equals 1. So again, how does the else statement work? It works when the exception is not triggered. It's as if except is if. So in this scenario, since x is, uh, or tr the try is legitimate, x is defined as 6, it's going to not trigger the except, therefore the else will run. So it's going to add 1, so it's going to spit out x is 7, right? So, well, it wouldn't spit anything out at this point, but x will be 7. Then finally is always going to run. So it's going to actually print out x, do something with x, which equals now, what is it equal? Equals 7. So now, uh, let's go ahead and run that, maybe. And we see do something else with x, which equals 7. Now again, if we said this, x, right? So now try is going to fail, except will run. Because except runs, else will not run. So x is going to equal 8. Finally, always runs. So it's going to run. And then it's going to say do something else with x, which equals, and it's going to be 8. So again, let's run this. And sure enough, as we expected, do something else with x, which equals 8. So, um, so that's both, you know, try except finally, but also try except else finally. Uh, so anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys maybe learned something new. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.